live from a wonderful corner of Austin, where Velma is a gay black mermaid and Chris Pratt is the voice of the mad god Shaggy. It's going to be a great night. Now, quash your beer anxiety and avoid Stan Harmon's Conjunction Junction Episode 5 spoilers, because here are your hosts, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young! Let's get this over with. Are we gonna uh, look? Uh, <laughs> last week we challenged each other to play chess. Go through it. Go through it. And I Go don't it. want to accuse you publicly of cheating. You're never gonna make nationals if you don't keep going. <laughs> but I felt like. Let's go. I threw it. I felt like maybe there was something up because I had. A, I had. <laughs> I had a hard time. I had a hard time. I had a hard time focusing on the game. Uh, Even a harder time focusing on the vibrating butt plug. Uh, 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 Because. Land it. uh, Focus. uh, Bring it home. uh, Cue the punchline. Bryce. (laughs) No. Oh. We'll be ready for week two. <laughs> we'll be ready for that week two. That was the two. longest I've gone. We'll be ready for we've week been, two. We've been practicing all week. Didn't want to make a Don't big worry. deal about it's it. Fine. <laughs> it's fine. We'll be ready. <laughs> that didn't go over well with the Illuminati. <laughs> <laughs> but they were not fans. Kim, Kim, Kim. Not fans. Good to be back home where you can just slap. <laughs> you can slap people you think you know. <laughs> so, so, somebody's just like, I was deputy director of the International UN Committee of. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> well, you know, when I first came to the Central Intelligence Agency, yeah, no, it me. was not even a place, uh, a gleam in <laughs> my That's mother's me, eye. Me. I have since become a letter oh, writer. Oh, 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 now you did. This oh, is good. Oh, <laughs> 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 <sighs> All right, let's fuck. Slapping. Slapping. Did you uh, say, all right, let's fuck? What? <laughs> what? What? The what the heck? That's what I heard. What? First of all, put a dollar in the swear jar, mister. Ah, uh, there you go. Yeah. Second of all, excuse us, we're gonna fuck. <laughs> uh, <laughs> did, did, were you not there for the meeting? <laughs> There's a pivot <laughs> to our programming. This, 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 this uh, homoerotic tension between these two married we men. Are not, yeah, we are not streaming to Twitch anymore. <laughs> It is only fansly. <laughs> uh, so I, I I had a dream and uh, Wait. Now, what does he? Gonna, oh, oh do, do he, does he want to do the thing? Oh, do you have a thing? We got a thing. I mean, if you don't want to, we don't want to. No, no, no. no. Do, 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 do the thing. All right. Let me do the thing. Brian dreams of improv. True. Uh, so uh, uh, this November. From Walden Media. <laughs> Walden he's, Media. <laughs> he's got. I worked very hard on this movie. <laughs> no, wait a minute. All right, oh, here, here we go. No, no, no. We're, no, we're, 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 we're going to do the trailer for your for your dream. Okay. Uh, 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 right. Uh, that's nah, too big. If, I, if we no, look no, for no, tinkly no, tink no. music, hey, right? Like, yeah. Is that too much to ask? Tinkly uh, tink music. Yeah, give me just like yeah, okay, spare okay, piano okay, music. Right. So like we're, something we're, from a '90s trailer. That's too serious. While Bryce for, is looking yeah. for that, uh, let, I I believe this week might have been like the longest stretch where we've spoken the least, like five whole days, and we only had two conversations. I'm so glad you noticed too. <laughs> <laughs> He's a man who knows that only dreams can contain us. Now, every time I stop, you have to say a line from the movie. Okay, good. All right. <clears throat> Only dreams can contain us. Hey, hey, Justin. But he's about to find out that only dreams contain him. What do you want, Brian? (laughs) (laughs) From the producers of Earth Girls Are Easy, (laughs) 
comes hey. the oh, breakup. No. Oh, there we go. <laughs> no. uh, hey, Justin, uh, didn't you go to like an Illuminati thing and, we, and I was all worried that you wouldn't be able to tell me about it afterwards? Comes a story that can't really be told in its full <laughs> glory. Uh, that's right, Brian. Uh, so, okay, l- let me take you into the dream. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Walden Media presents... <laughs> Brian's dream. <laughs> so, so a uh, uh, literal thing that happened this morning. I woke up and texted Justin first thing in the morning because I dreamed of him, and that's how you know that like we can't. It's handle, been a while. Yeah, we can't handle three and apart. a half full days of only having a couple of conversations. Uh, only so a couple. I, I, I began to <laughs> dream of Justin. We talk a lot. We this do. This show never ends. I, I just want to let everybody know, like the like you guys only get the part where we're in front of microphones. Brian and I are talking fucking constantly. That's true. Uh, so uh, in, in this case, we were talking in my dreams. Yeah. <laughs> and first of all, uh, um, forgive me. Uh, uh, just doubling down on themes that have already been established. But I kid you not, in my dream. You were heavily tattooed and very muscled and barely wearing a, a vest. Wow. <laughs> so you came back, and I was very excited. Yeah. Uh, and I knew that I was worried about this Illuminati experience and whether or not you could talk about it. And and in my dream, yeah. I asked, uh, I was like, uh, hey, man, uh, 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 can you tell me about the Illuminati thing? And and in my dream, you said, uh, no, man, but I'll tell you this much. Uh, they got me off weed because my hands can't shake when I'm holding a gun. <laughs> and before I could say anything else, you said, <laughs> so they got me on balloon heroin. <laughs> <laughs> now I, say this, I say this, by the way, so, so it's me, but I'm jet. I'm, jet, I'm yes. barely wearing yes. A, a a vest. Yes. Uh, uh, and I'm saying it very confidently, I'm assuming. So you're like just immediately assuming that you know what balloon heroin is or, or is this more of a comedic Correct. moment? Like, no, no, no. I knew what you meant was white china heroin powder form in a balloon, the type of which you would stick up your ass to get through customs. That's Obviously, that's here what nor you there. do. Obviously. <laughs> do. That was the first guess. Yep. But when you said balloon heroin, you're like, they have me on balloon heroin. And then you had this beatific look, and you said, "It's great." <laughs> <laughs> and so, and, all but still I, but on I, brand. But all I was still, still I was still very curious as to what happened at the Illuminati meeting, right? Yeah. So, so I continued to press, and uh, the more I pressed, the more resistant you became. And then you said, "You know what I'd like to do, Brian? I'd like to do an interview improv <laughs> with Bernie Sanders." Where over the interview, it is increasingly clear that he would like to host his own food show, <laughs> his own <laughs> cooking show. And that is the so first. That, so that was my deflection. <laughs> yes. My <laughs> deflection for not wanting to talk about this Illuminati meeting that I went to. That's right. Is that I would want to do an improv where Bernie Sanders is clearly trying to angle for the fact that he wants to host right, the food Right, but show. that was a dream. That was yeah. a dream. That's all nonsense. It might go a now, little hold, hold something. On. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Yeah. I was going to tee you up. I was going to say, now that we're in reality, can you tell me about the Illuminati? <laughs> uh, in a world. <laughs> I can tell you this. Uh, do you know that the state of Minnesota accidentally legalized edibles weed uh, edibles wait, 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 wait how how if it's illegal to grow to sell to consume because cbd was legal right hemp and then they were like well we need to regulate cbd and then somebody snuck into the bill the fact that <laughs> the hamburglar the hamburger, the, the can of burglar, rabble, 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 rabble. Uh, uh, and he's like, like <laughs> typing, and then jumps out the window to his death. Uh, <laughs> Play, PlayStation, yeah. he's going. Uh, they they put in that the limit of this of like the amount of weed was basically a THC level, a THC like potency. Right. So and you so, could do wicked CBD with low so THC. You, basically, they have five milligram 
edibles. Is that a lot? That are available. It'll, it'll, no. Yeah, especially if you're... Okay, oh. just everybody note who responded. Fuck <laughs> Cheech and Chong in, in, in one Castillo is like bullshit. Take fucking four then, stunt driver. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no. For for an average person who is not fucked around with edibles, like five milligrams will 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 get you. <laughs> what get about you where somebody you who's go. accustomed to balloon heroin? <laughs> <laughs> Might go a little sub. No. <laughs> so anyway, no. Here's the fucked up thing. Yeah. Because it's straight legal, it's available at grocery stores. Oh. Hold on. Uh, well, like in Austin, they they made the mistake of uh, Texas legalized hemp and. Uh, Travis County said, hey, man, it's expensive to figure out what's hemp and what's yes. weed. So we are not going to distinguish. We are not going to bother anyone who appears to have flour of yeah. any, any kind. But edibles are like distilled, uh, I don't know, ma uh, 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 spirit juice. Effectively. I, <laughs> yes. As it's commonly referred to in the science community. Yes. yes. Or, or uh, 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 as the Indians called it, maize. <laughs> Good save. Good save <laughs> Where are my 70s kids at? I love the fact that Squanto would be the first dealer. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, and so the pilgrims made contact with Squanto, who said, Are you cool? Yeah, what y'all want? <laughs> I got that hookup. Got that pandemic. So uh, WMDs. Uh, so so uh, weed's legal. So and weed's with legal. The and it was, yeah, it was being passed around liberally. Okay. But now that we're in reality, I can't talk about anything else at all. What the fuck are we Whatsoever. supposed to do with this first segment then? I thought it might go a little something <laughs> like this. We are live at the Capitol. I'm joined by the man, the myth, the legend himself, Mr. Bernie Sanders. Mr. Hello. Sanders. Hello. Yes. <laughs> it's me, Bernie Sanders. <laughs> I, 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 I just want to let you know that for all of the hardworking <laughs> members, of American labor? Yes. We are cooking up something good. Oh, wonderful. Uh, uh, I am gathering the ingredients, <laughs> and we are simmering the pot. <laughs> okay. Because here in America, excuse me, okay. here in America, <laughs> right. we are working on something very delicious. Okay, uh, uh, Mr. Sanders, uh, a, a, yes. a lot of people have yes. problems with yes. uh, with your economic theories. They yes. say that they 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 don't right. make sense. Uh, yes. uh, uh, what do you say to that? Right. I'm glad you asked that. <laughs> because if you think about economic justice, <laughs> it pairs well <laughs> with dignity. <laughs> And human rights, not unlike a fish dinner, <laughs> will pair well with a white wine. <laughs> Maybe a Pinot Grigio. Right. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe oh. a Chardonnay. <laughs> okay, but 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 uh, 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 Mr. Sanders, we're understanding that uh, uh, a lot of people from from your own side, even though you're an independent, right. uh, you have a lot of support from Democrats. Yes. Some of your uh, uh, your own team, as it were, uh, uh, seems to feel like you're you're too far afield. How do you respond to those people? People, 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 people. <laughs> Take two, Sandra. Can, can can we can we start again? No, yeah. we're live. Okay, all right. We're live, Mr. We're live. Sanders. I'm. I'm glad you asked that. <laughs> if what you should be asking, <laughs> what you should be asking, <laughs> is the fact that there is a disparity between the 1% and the 99%. If that is the disparity that we have, then you need to understand that if you would like to boil water, you should do so at 98 degrees. Celsius? I'm sorry, Mr. Sanders, what? <laughs> what is this? What is, what show are we? What is this? <laughs> It was a dream. <laughs> and we woke up. Bryce, yeah. next story. <laughs> Who's the a-hole here? Oh. Oh. oh.
That's a good dream. <laughs> <laughs> Balloon heroin. Uh, so uh, I, I'm on the phone with my earbuds. And, uh, Who are you uh, calling? Uh, well, uh, 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 not me. <laughs> we didn't talk. <laughs> Except we were, for the, when we talked. Except for when we talked. Yeah. But, <laughs> but you weren't was... calling me. Were you calling me? No. I, you know, I meant to call you. Oh, yeah. But then. but then. Oh, yeah. You didn't know. <laughs> no. So alone. <laughs> it's alone all day. If you invite the devil into your heart, he will accept. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. All right. You're on the phone. With... <laughs> so. Uh, uh, cool uh, people, I guess. I was chatting with Rex over at the Whiskey Tribe. Yeah. Uh, this morning. And I, I need to cross 290, which is, of course, a four lane. Uh, it's got a fifth middle lane on in there. Foot? Uh, on foot. Yeah. Uh, and so I hit the pedestrian crosswalk button. Yeah. And I'm chit chatting and I've yeah. got the earbuds and it's the noise canceling and the Rex is in my ears. And I'm talking about how great, how much I can't wait for Justin to come home. And I hope he could still smoke weed. Uh, <laughs> and then, uh, uh, what did then, Rex think about it? Uh, oh, Rex was, was, uh, uh, uh don't distract me, <laughs> but, 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 uh, so, so the crosswalk thing goes, time to cross, and so I begin walking and I stop immediately because, uh, hey, uh, uh, uh pop quiz to anybody, uh, if you are a car who wants to turn left. And you don't have a protected left-hand turn signal. What do you do if there's a car in your way? Do you turn left? No. No. What do you do no. if there's a pedestrian in your way? Do you turn left? You try. <laughs> Correct answer. <laughs> because the first guy in line did exactly that. And so I walk forward, and I'm still chatting with, with Rex, and Rex is getting me saying, like, oh, this is what I think. And this okay, is what so I wait, think. so wait, so hold on. Like, so this is a very interesting judge of character, right? Because like if somebody is absentmindedly trying to, to you know possibly run over you, uh, is that a like fucking reaction? Like are oh yeah are no 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 animated? I, 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 I instantly lock eyes with this person who has decided to turn left, thinking oh I know I'll just go before that pedestrian gets to the dangerous part. Yeah, and so I, I give him one of these you know. Walking, this is my my shaggy walk. Walk, 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 and then walk. and then and then, and, then, and you know I freeze, lock eyes, and I'm like, you know, uh, but but I'm still you know having my. I would describe that reaction as a uh, a uh, uh, like 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 a '90s comic who's reacting to a George W. Bush policy. <laughs> <laughs> Back when he was governor. Be before I mean, yeah, he was president, because they're, they're really hipsters. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, uh, yes, and, and, and so, so. Oh yeah, I guess two thousand. He's. Uh, I right? I, yeah. I keep on going. Second guy in line, um, uh, uh, actually stops, recognizes that. Yep. I have a choice to either run over this pedestrian yep. or stop. Uh, 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 I salute him, look him in the eye, keep on going. Third guy appears to be in his seventies. Uh, he's in a pickup truck. His window is rolled down. He rolls up and stops. It starts yelling and honking at me. And uh, without how long does it take you to walk through yeah. the crosswalk? <laughs> like, how are you seeing well, multiple keep in mind, cars? I had to stop for the first guy who didn't stop for me. Oh wait, hold the on. Second I'm guy, identifying. I'm identifying. I, a I well moved. Known, I moved well immediately. Known pattern of behavior of oh, when, when, when when injustice is visited upon you, you have no fucking compunction with stopping all of society so it can be recognized <laughs> that injustice was visited <laughs> for you. And by the way, for audio <laughs> listeners, he has now grabbed both of his uh, both of his lapels as he is looking like. Well, just in your nose. Uh, well, it was about this time <laughs> that an old man started yelling and cursing me out. And the experience, I assume, to uh, Rex sounded like, yeah, so anyway, no, I think that's a great idea. What? What? No. Fuck you. I own this. You don't own this. This is mine, not yours. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I so as long as everyone recognized that you are the king of Street Mountain. I mean, when the light is green, you yeah. must come clean. 
So your when question the light is, is yellow, you must be mellow. So your question is, are you the asshole? Am I the asshole for giving the middle finger? You gave the middle finger. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, I told him he was number one, uh, but uh, with my favorite finger. Uh, but you already told us it was the middle finger. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, so anyway, the guy, the guy definitely was coming out of my neighborhood. And I gave him the middle finger, and I, I explained I, everything I just said uh, uh, with extra pantomiming. And then I felt no guilt. Am I the asshole? They were in the wrong. You definitely escalated by not, like, what I would assume their assumption of your behavior would be is that you start moseying like as soon as somebody tries to get aggressive you do the like the the like the trot right like Not the me. little like like, like let, let, let's get out of it we you're all know you're in the right you're in the right we all know you've got Bri the might yes brian brushwood is, is Your not shit that is guy uh, uh if somebody says you're in the wrong you will immediately if you don't feel that you are in the wrong you will let them know they are in the wrong Meanwhile, these people that are two cars back, they don't know the sin visited upon you by the first guy. So they don't know why you are there. I mean, I mean, first guy was fair dinkum. He, he tried to get through before pedestrians went across, <clears throat> and he did so successfully. Second guy realized, oh, wait, I, I'm not allowed to run into pedestrians. Yeah. Stop for it. Third guy didn't like that the second guy stopped. Yeah. Started. He, he could have kept going, but stopped to honk and yell at me. I literally don't Wait, know do, what he do, said. Do you know he was yelling at you, or was he yelling at the guy in front of him? You know what? I actually don't know, but I do have the following context clues. Okay. The other guy was gone. He <laughs> stopped. <laughs> gotcha. He looked me directly in the eye yeah. and was shouting and honking. So wait, how did the second guy get past you? Uh, well, the second guy waited, which is why I saluted him oh so wait so he waited you're past them uh guy, guy i try we both try to go at the same time guy number one speeds up and yeah. dangerously yeah. goes in front of me guy number two pauses let me go across get a salute guy number three didn't like being so you are clear for five seconds you are clear and then then he guy three stopped, rather so than go tell on you forward. that you're a dickhead yeah oh no he's the asshole yeah, yeah. yeah. i made that up <laughs> No, I didn't. Uh, I'm a terrible person. The delivery no, of not. balloons is late. I'm sorry. We had some balloons for you. On that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I know. I don't think. I don't think you're the asshole. That's yeah, right. uh, this is what sucks about being were, in were the same place. Were you worried about being the asshole? Well, it, it, look, when you're on the road, you could be an asshole all the time, and you're and nobody remembers uh, yeah, unless there's social media. But that was before. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, but 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 like I lived there. The guy was coming out of my neighborhood. Yeah, he was an old dude, and I. I Did you recognize I, him? I recognized he was old. Because, I mean... If he it, wants to come on this show and apologize to me, I will accept it. Stop being it. a coward That's, and avoiding it, old yeah. man in yeah. the truck. Yep. Look, old man in the truck. No, zero up on me. I'm yeah. talking to you, old man in the <laughs> truck. Hey, look. You fucking... You, you've dealt with your... We've dealt with your bullshit long enough, okay? If you want to come down here to this... I, mean, I almost gave the address. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, and fight Brian... <laughs> Then you fucking can. He's gonna whip your dumb old ass, you fucking truck driving I challenge piece of you shit. To I challenge you to fight Brian. <laughs> I've been slapping this man's chest and back for over five minutes, and I know they're strong as a goddamn ox. He's built like a barrel with legs, and he's gonna visit these splinters onto your ass, mister. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You drive these trucks like you're the fucking mayor of Truckville. Well, guess what? Truckville's canceled. <laughs> Someone said the N word and now they're not allowed anymore. You're part of it and we're going to end you. We're ending you now. Jesus Christ, it sounds like we're going to murder him. We're going to not murder. <laughs> no, no. If you no, thought it was murder, it's not murder. it's not murder. It's not murder. But fuck you. I'm giving you this because Brian said fuck you, which means I'm allowed to. <laughs> you think you're going to run over Bry? Too late. We're going to run over your dreams. <laughs> Nothing that you wanted to do as a child will come true. <laughs> Probably already has it. That's Round why you're three. so bad. <laughs> He's still going, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Yeah. Uh, we, go, we go down to our live correspondent, Bernie Sanders. Bernie, what do you think? 
<laughs> I think he's preheating the oven. <laughs> And things are about to get delicious. <laughs> Rice. Uh, the top ten percent of that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jobs on Rogan. Uh, this popped into our chat feed uh, out of nowhere from our friend David McRaney. I guess there's a company uh, that I, I didn't know it was scripted. I thought the entire thing was generated by AI. I'm assuming it's scripted. I'm, I assumed I don't know more than you. I just have, have you have you heard this, Brett? Uh, a little bit of it. I have not heard any of it. You you, you sent it to us in the uh, in 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 our in our group chat, and then I I initially clicked on it, and I only saw that it was a picture, and I'm like, oh, I just thought it was an AI picture. picture. Right? But I, no, I did, no, no, I didn't no. Realize it was uh, anything else. Like Joe Rogan. How, yeah. Uh, in theory, uh, whether it's scripted. It could either be manually scripted or about to be automatically scripted. I mean, yeah. that's how good AI is, right? But either way, tell me, tell me what you think of these snippets of Joe Rogan interviewing Steve Jobs. Listen All right, show or a different see. group. They're weird. <laughs> well, that's good. So you must be a fan of the show, then, right? I am. I am a fan. I mean, it's nice to sit back in the car and listen to you rant. <laughs> <laughs> I've always liked you. Well, uh, Wait, hold that. on, hold on. Pause, pause, Did he say pause. I'll always like you? Who said who is supposed to have said I'll, I'll always like you? I, I think that's supposed to be Steve Jobs. So so it, 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 you'll be able to tease out who's Joe, Joe Rogan and who's well, no, Steve no, no, Jobs. No, I heard I heard who was There's supposed to be Joe people. Rogan. Yeah, but it sounds like it's three people. I, I think that was supposed to be an exasperated, excited. I think the Steve, Steve the Jobs. Steve Jobs voice is a little spotty because. It's a lot of keynote presentations. I think that they. But he sounds he sounds his strongest when he's busy explaining like something like a keynote presentation. You listen to your show or a different group. They're weird. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> Wait, so, hold on. What the <laughs> fuck? You can't tell me that's supposed to be Steve Jobs. I, I think it is. People who it listen is. to your show or a different group. They're weird. <laughs> Come well, that's on. good. All right. That's, that's Steve. Come on. You're, 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 you're picking the worst parts. <laughs> there, there, there's a right, couple here's, of. Here's a good one. Okay. Here's, all right. Here's a good one, ladies and gentlemen. God damn it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and play. And that it knows this stuff already. So I stopped taking them because they didn't give me anything more than that. I started to realize that there was a higher power that knew that I was connected to something and I wanted to learn more. Although I wouldn't recommend it for everybody because I think it can be quite powerful. <laughs> what are you changing your mind? What did you learn from it? It reinforced my sense of what was important. Just love. Feel love for each other. Awe and respect for life. Wait, no, uh, uh, no, that's it, good. That's really good. Uh, what's funny is now I feel like it's less good because I'm getting closer <laughs> to it. And it's like one is doing an interview. The other one is doing is about to Speak. introduce the iPod, <laughs> you know, for the first time. Yeah, but that's some of the like, the, especially the big celebrity Joe Rogan interviews, like like because he's he's a, a, such a layout interviewer. Like he just lets people talk for as long as they want. And so it's like some of those people like will just wound up sounding like they're doing monologues. Uh, well, I'm doing a little bit of a Squarespace change of plans right here but okay. uh, we've been oh. working on our own ai and we anybody have. in the chat can request any interview uh of any two people yeah. in the audience and we'll yeah. have our ai i'm seeing uh, bryce do you have it loaded <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm just downloading the file to make sure it's the most up-to-date version of the file okay all right we'll see we'll see whatever the chat room <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> so we have our own ai we've been working on a lot of computers and so many uh, uh, we've been training the models. Yeah. Uh, uh, all these models have, uh, they were very unruly initially. They've been very strictly trained uh, now. It, and it was in this moment that I realized how untrustworthy the chat room is. Uh, <laughs> well, you don't want to do your Hitler? <laughs> no, no, no. So Bill Clinton. Yes. Right? Bill Clinton being uh, uh, interviewed by, and I'm sorry here, we're, we're, we're still waiting for the, uh, the AI to spit out who Bill Clinton would be interviewing. Uh, uh, <laughs> RL side. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> Bobama. <laughs> these are all Justin characters. <laughs> Full pot. Who did program. you think our chat was going to fucking I don't say? know. <laughs> I was just trying to roll with it. No, that's fine. Yeah. That's, that's, what, what do you want to have Bill Clinton interview RL Stein? Uh, yeah. In our uh, model? Yeah. Uh, uh, Who uh, do you want to do? Uh, <laughs> the moderator. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I'm gonna click play on the podcast here. Hello, I'm. Wait, I can't do both. 
things, no, can I? But but I can corner Bryce into doing one of them. No, 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 no. No, the AI will do all of them. Oh, there you but go. But Bryce's mic has to be muted to power the AI. That's correct. Yeah. Uh, Bryce, mute yeah. your mic for mute the Bill mic, Clinton right? channel. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. That's a terrible Bill Clinton. We need music first. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm the moderator. No, you're not. You're not the moderator. I, I'm the uncancelable Charlie Rose. <laughs> Welcome back. R.L. Stein and Bill Clinton finally together in the same room. <laughs> no. Oh, well, Stop the music. Oh, God Stop damn it. Stop the music. Uh, all right. Stop the music. All right. Come on. Uh, yeah, you I, set up the bit. I don't know. You I, I square spaced the, the plan. You square spaced our plan. It was clearly a mistake. No. <laughs> no. No. It's I'm, there's, God doesn't make mistakes. <laughs> okay. It's only opportunity. I trust your Bill Clinton. Uh, uh, Okay. We just have to. There we go. We're already we there. Go. All right. Now let's stop. Let's reset. All right. Let's say that this is an AI, and we'll go forward with the improv. All right. I'm gonna okay. click play All on right. the intro music of the podcast. I did not have sex with that woman, Miss <laughs> Lewinsky. I literally <laughs> forgot the RL's <laughs> title. Oh. Okay. Uh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh. 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 I'm R.L. Stein. <laughs> I live alone. I've written over five million children's books. It's an honor to talk to my good friend, William Jefferson Clinton, the uh, president of the United States of America. Well, thank you. Thank you very much, R.L. Stein. I'm a, I'm a big fan of your work. When I first read about the Frankenstein house, I wasn't sure whether or not the house was a Frankenstein or whether Frankenstein lived in the house. It's me, Bill Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> Another classic one from Slick Willie. My first question to you. When you were negotiating with Yasser Arafat, where did you think that the deal points would be resolved in a possible Israeli peace process? <laughs> well, to understand that story, you have to understand an old tale that comes from my home in Arkansas. There was a lonely salesman walking across the fields, and he needed a place to stay one night. <laughs> so he went to an old farmhouse, and the farmer said he could sleep there as long as he didn't put his willy in these three holes. Interesting. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> That's the whole story. He slept there, was polite, and thanked him. The way I thank Americans with my NAFTA agreement that will be uncontroversial and beloved for years. It's me, Bill Clinton. <laughs> That's great. When I'm in my hot tub alone, <laughs> where I live alone, smoking holy rolled <laughs> blunts and drinking port, I often think of what happened when you bombed that Somali <laughs> pill factory. Was that the precursor for Operation Desert Fox? Or was it a totally unrelated situation? You know, I think sometimes about how my administration ushered in so many great things. The internet, AOL, GeoCities. <laughs> uh, thank you. I'm here with William Jefferson Clinton in hour one of our three-hour conversation. Christ save me! All right. Thanks, <laughs> No, my Mario! No, this is not. It's not, not Mario! my Mario! Sog, they made a fake Mario. What the fuck? I go away for like three days and everybody uh, uh, comes their pants in anger about the fucking Mario trailer. Someone has to. I too was fairly neutral on the issue. Yeah. Until. Uh, Have you seen the trailer? Your pants in anger. I heard you say. <laughs> What's up, oh, Mario? <laughs> the trailer's okay, but you're really fucking annoyed. Let Bowser live. He's but not a bad guy. But don't come your pants in anger. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. Uh, uh, 
Justin, have you seen the trailer? Have you heard the voice of, of Mario? There's a little clip of it, but have you have you heard it? Uh, no, I have not. This will be the first time I hear it. All right, we've got it here. This is coming up from uh, Universal Pictures. Here's a <laughs> What? It's a, it's a what? It's a, it's a, it's a. What is this place? Piece of shit, you fucking piece of dog shit, you fucking <laughs> imposter. Is that mushroom, you'll die. Yeah, oh, both sorry. of you. That one's perfectly fine. Come on, Mario. Mushroom Kingdom, here we come. How'd you like it? So the issue is that Chris Pratt is kind of trying to do an Italian accent. He was more revi- he was more harassed online for not trying. The part he spent I think roughly about 70% not trying and 30% trying. It was the part where he was not trying that people got upset about. Are Italians white people now? Um well, uh, Bryce, you know it was, <laughs> it was Columbus Day the other day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just in Brett? case anyone wanted to know the calendar. Brett, what do you uh, think about that? Are issue? Italians whites? Let's do a let's do a poll. A, a round tw- table on, on oh, Twitch. Geez. It's me, the you uncancelable. Do you, you think that'll get our account banned if Charlie we do Rose. A, a, a Twitch poll? Uh, are Italians whites? Yes, it will. I okay. Will. Wait, that? We can't even do that? Do we, do we want to play with that? Do yeah. we really want to try that? Is that what we're going to do? we really go back go to down? Belma's titties? No, by the way, whenever, whenever, whenever I push dumb shit like this, just tell me to call my wife and ask, and, and that'll solve the problem immediately. I'm not a snitch. Uh, <laughs> I'm not a white are, snitch. Do you think Italians are whites? <laughs> no, I, I think the question is... You don't? Is okay, not... interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Because that, I think, no, I think that, that the core <laughs> issue of this Mario trailer rests on the idea of whether or not uh, uh, the American uh, uh, cultural perspective considers Italians whites. Uh, well, so when, when we were discussing it yesterday, our guest on Court Killers said, well, it's not like there is a canonical right voice for Mario, at which point oh, I shifted uh, uh, from uh, neutral yeah. to highly partisan, as I said, I mean, aside for the voice of Mario, of Mario. through all of the games. Yeah, and, and literally all of them. Optimus Prime and... and Who, and, by the way, has never had to actually read dialogue and lines on those on, on the level that a feature film would require him to right uh, there are have some games where he's oh, had that, lines what? oh Brother. my god Uh-oh. you you have awakened the brett <laughs> talented voice actor <laughs> and long-term veteran i'm not saying he can't all i'm saying is this uh number one the only uh-huh. reason why they have look they could have gone one of two ways with yes. this movie they could have said for the purists absolutely this is we're going to we're going to give the 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 uh, video game experience, the gigantic feature film treatment, or you can make money, and you can put Hollywood actors in it because Hollywood actors are going to go on Jimmy Fallon and punch bricks and and uh, get the word out for the movie. That's that's heartless. No, that's fucking selling out. Use Charles. They put Charles Martinet in other roles in the movie. He's in the movie. Yeah, sure. Remember in Transformers when Optimus Prime was the voice of of like the trash bot and you're like thank you for giving me trash. <laughs> Ah, Autobots, roll out. Oh, wait, that's your line, Optimus. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) Old habits, you know. And then meanwhile, Charlie Day is like, yeah, uh, Autobots, roll out, I guess. People are saying it's not the same thing. I I, 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 don't, I don't know. I, I, I don't understand the hysteria, but... Uh, wait, didn't... Because that would be the argument, right? With the Transformers, didn't they give the original... Yeah, yeah, they did. Uh, the, uh, the original Optimus, Optimus was, was the original yeah. Optimus, yeah. Yeah. But they also had other live-action stars that they could put in the movie that would Name be the thing. Name three. Shia LaBeouf. Yes. Megan Fox. Fox yep, that's And uh, 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 where's my alien gun? Fucking what's his face? Mark, oh, Mark. Uh, Mark, Mark. Uh, I guess I guess yeah. I did say the entire panoply of movie. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Fair yeah. enough. Fair dinkum. Yeah. <sighs> You've said fair dinkum twice. Yep. 
Yep. How, how fair is this dinkum? Oh, my God. It's the fairest. The, who, uh, dinkum, we... dinkum on the wall. <laughs> Who's, Who's the, the fairest, fairest of the ball? According to uh, third-party audits, <laughs> our games at Fair Dinkum Casino are the fairest. <laughs> wow. Rock, paper, scissors. We're not looking at micro-expressions. You're looking at micro-expressions. <laughs> so, wait, so everybody's, Flipping caving a coin. Up, everybody's caving up for Charles Martinet. Is that, yeah. is that what's happening? It's just yeah. that Chris Pratt just sounds like Chris Pratt. And they only showed such a small clip that it makes it seem like, oh, he's just going to sound like Chris Pratt the whole time. Uh, and it's like, let, 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 and, let's, and, let's speak to the real issue, which is Jack Black crushed and uh, 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 Chris Pratt did not. Behold, the king of the Koopas! So this is Jack Black, you as know, Bowser crushing as a character. There's a, like five more minutes of him walking forward, just getting his sumo stance, looking awesome, walking slow. This is me Open covering the gates. Now that's a good Bowser. Yeah. That's a good Bowser, I feel like. The gates. <laughs> Bill Gates. Open the gates. This is really what the internet was fucking right. spending its time on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Welcome back. <laughs> you, had a, you had a wonderful mystery land up in crazy Illuminativille. Guess what? You're back in Texas. You're on the internet. <laughs> this is what we're talking about. It was that and some bridge. But other than that, <laughs> we do things a little differently around here. Uh, I don't know where you so get but, your uh, balloon uh, heroin. So the whole the whole point. I mean, like, it, I guess people were were circling this Pratt Mario casting thing for a while, right? Like, like. Uh. It, it, People were, were assuming it was going to be shit they, they were from the primed. moment that he got announced. Yeah. Uh, because Chris Pratt is not a, a well-known impressionist. Like, well, uh, and, he, and, he, is, and also... he is, he is well-known for being a charming person for which is him. I mean, I, I, I think it's the Nickelback New York Yankees syndrome where it's just like it's hard to cheer for somebody who's, you know, winning and Great. everything. Well, uh, or, or especially in kind of a bland way. Like uh, that's it. He's bland. Yeah, he's, he's an every man. He, he does yeah. a good he's, Sussex accent, though. I'm, uh, I'm the guy. Oh, I'm just the I'm the schlubby guy. That's it. No, I mean, that, like, that, that's a great guy. Chris Pratt. Keep doing it. It's me, Mario. I'm the schlubby guy. Yeah. Oh, I do plumbing and I, I hate do, turtles. Uh, uh, how did he sound in Lego Movie? Oh, this is this is me. I'm the Lego guy. I've got uh, and I was doing a Bob Dylan impression. How, how did okay, he sound okay, in Star wait, Lord? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now and now in Guardians uh, of the Galaxy. Uh, now in Avengers Endgame. Oh, sure, sure, sure. I was uh, uh, And now this is now I'm the Star Lord. <laughs> I'm the Lord of the Stars and I'm Chris Pratt. Yeah. I'm like a normal guy, but I'm in space. And, and now. now it's Schindler's List. <laughs> yeah, the movie's in black and white, except for some of it. <laughs> That's a, pretty good. That was a weird. Pretty good. I, I do tried, remember I tried, that. I tried to throw you a curveball, but you fucking you knocked got it out of the, the park. Yeah. All right. Well, you win. I win. Uh, I win the podcast. What are we doing? So wait. So so now we do, we we don't like Chris Pratt. Is that oh, is no, that no, the no, new no. thing? No, we, we, we love Pratt. him the way we love yeah. Michael Jordan and 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 Elvis. Is it for for you, Brian? Is it a thing that just because he's famous? Because it's not. No, I me. I literally could give two shits. It's a fucking dumb side scrolling. Good game. yes and. Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, you. Uh, f- f- so, Justin, what? Uh, Justin, do you have a strong opinion? Of- <laughs> no. <laughs> Solidarity. <laughs> oh, fuck off! You can't. Oh. <laughs> and we did that without anybody banging on our chest. And if you want to see people banging on our chest the entire show long, you got to give us money to hire that somebody. Head on over to Patreon.com/slash Great Night. Keep us loud, live, independent, and flexible. The only way to be flexible, uh, just I'm having a hard time even talking. Can you please give me some of that yeah. sugar? Okay, all right, here we go. <clears throat> oh, oh, there we go. The only, the only way to keep us alive is for you to go to patreon.com slash great night. You will get at least four, <laughs> maybe five, maybe even more episodes with the bonus content, the bones as we call them, or as Pris... Co- uh, uh, Pris- Chris Who? Pratt. Keep going, keep going. Chris Pratt, come on. Chris Pratt calls them the bones. We're moving to big. Uh, okay, all right. Uh, if you <laughs> oh, no, the want us to set up an entire wipeout set and do an entire show while we are avoiding uh, ping pong balls shooting at us, and Amer- we need to hire an American gladiator. That's a promise that if we hit 10,000 per 
10,000 oh, no. per oh. episode. We will hire a former American gladiator to shoot tennis balls at us for an entire podcast. That's right. You heard it here first. It's me, uh, uncancelable Charlie Rose. I'm here. Uh, 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 Patreon.com slash great night. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I like to call this episode just for TikTok. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Just for TikTok. Sometimes we do it for I didn't podcast, hate it. Sometimes we do it just for TikTok. Hey, Bryce, we got oh. a game. We do have a game. This is uh, sent in from uh, Sam, TSC and Sam in our, in our chat, a, uh, a, a, a diehard marbles racer. Uh, Sam says, this idea came from a conversation in our Discord, discord.greatnight.tv, about Disney trivia. There are a lot of Disney villains that just um, fall from a height, and that's how they die. Mm-hmm. They just die. Yep. They just so, fall from a very yep. high height. Um, but some others had even worse deaths than that. So uh, uh, you guys are going to tell me if the Disney villain that I name did or did not die by falling, falling from, from a, from a great height. Far place. Great falling height. to death. Yeah, uh, from a great height. Question. Uh, is, is it in the style Bible? Like, like do they do they Wiley Coyote style show up? Poof. At the bottom, or or is it like left in the air, so to speak? Whether or not they're they're still out there and can come back. Uh, I, th- I think that's part of the reason why they do it, because if the character is popular enough, mm-hmm. they can you always can bring always them back. bring them back. Because it's like, you know, the evil person falls, and then like at the beginning of movie two, it's like they bounce oh, off. Oh, I I uh, henchman number four that you didn't see pushed a mattress. <laughs> oh. Boom. Uh, that's right. It was a Casper brand mattress. Thanks to our friends over at Casper. <laughs> Use promo code Great Night, and they'll be confused. It uh, will be. Oh my goodness! Please don't do that. Um, so I'm going to give you the villain. You're going to tell me if they did or did not meet their demise by falling off a cliff or a tall thing. Really, if you're right, you're going to get a bonus point, and everyone who gets it right will get a chance to guess a little more details. And if they're close enough, science will give them an extra point. Everybody ready to play? Uh, yeah. Brett, you want in on this? I would love to be in. All right. Okay. Well, we've got Justin, we've got Brian, and we've got Brett. All right. Here's the first one. You're all going to answer each round. Uh, Brett. No, excuse me. Justin, we're going to start with you on this one. Let's do it. Can you tell me, did this Disney villain fall to their demise? (laughs) The evil queen from Snow White. She didn't even have a name. (laughs) Her name was the evil queen. Her name wasn't Melinda. Oh, that was the evil no. queen. Her name wasn't... M- Malinda? M- Malinda? Oh, shit. That'd be yeah, good. Yeah, that'd be good. That would be good. <laughs> don't come from... Di- don't come you from... I believe my- you're thinking of Maleficent. No, yep. that's another lady. That's a different lady. Yeah. From Snow White? No. You're thinking uh, of Beauty she, and the she Beast. She was in Sleeping uh, Beauty. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Sleeping Beauty. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Oh, sleeping <laughs> Booty. Yep. Sleeping Booty. I'm sleeping, sleeping on my booty. booty. Yeah, that's she's the one who had the, 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 the haunted loom. That's right. Yeah. Rumpelstiltskin spindle? spindle. Wow, is that <laughs> not <laughs> welcome? To the the it's on a loom, right? It's or is it not a loom? Everybody, <laughs> this is not <laughs> Come on, Mike. Come on, Mike. Come on, Mike. Mike. Come on, <laughs> no, no, no. It's You're a... doing this to make sure that I stop talking. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. What is it? Is it a loom? Is it a love? It. It's a spindle. Touch the spindle. Touch it, I say. But you're not answering my question. Is a spindle on a loom, or is a loom a different thing? It's a different thing. The spindle comes before the loom. The spindle is what actually like makes, winds makes the, the, the threads, yeah, the yarn, yeah. and then you you, the you loom use a loom. loom. So you take it off one machine and you put it on a totally different other machine. Yep. Yes. Wow. Yes. Yes. Well, fuck me. Get out of here. <laughs> 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 All right. So Justin, we're starting with you here. The evil queen from Snow White. Did she or did she not fall to her demise? I think she probably did. This is from Snow White. Oh, yeah. So she was like the old crone who was like, yeah, I'm going to. I don't even know what the fuck happens in that movie. Well, Chris Pratt was clearly playing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if, if, if it helps, uh, and I, what? I, All right, yeah. I don't know the answer. Do you know I'll, the I'll plot to Snow White? Um, I do what? know that it is the first. Uh, blockbuster animated feature that Disney made, and it oh. saved the studio. Sure. Uh, the plot is Snow White be like, ah, I'm great. She meets seven dwarves. No, 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 yeah, but is she like uh, uh, ejected from some part of her life, and then she meets the seven dwarves? Whoa. Why does she just start butlering for the seven dwarves? Uh, uh, <laughs> seven dwarves. 
Uh, they're 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 all Steven Dorfs. <laughs> yeah, uh, Brett, can you take this one? Wait, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't deflect. No, I don't know. <laughs> Neither do I. Okay, but but what I, do we I, guess though? Uh, okay, here's what I guess. Yes, she got canceled. <laughs> she wrote a letter. What did she say? She said. <laughs> she said. She said. Uh, <clears throat> uh, dear Auntie. Press corps. Uh, here I sit in the Middle Ages, and I'm thinking that perhaps uh, horror. Wait, hold on, but no, no. She has the apple, right? No, she eats the, the apple. The, the evil queen curses the apple. She eats the apple, and yeah, yeah. And then she's cursed to live with a bunch of dwarves. No, she falls asleep. But then I don't know why. Why? How the fuck does she end up? With how does the dwarves, dwarves even get involved? Cause also, the isn't that the one with the lumberjack? Doesn't the lumberjack save the day? What the fuck? There's a lumberjack in Snow White. How do how do four adult men not know the story? Does Brett, Brett, does do you know, it? Do you know I'm it? I'm just waiting for you guys. Okay, what hold on, hold on. Oh Anna, my god. Uh, Annalisa, I bet no, knows it. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. We're gonna figure this out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. All right. All right. So, so, all right so, fade up on Snow White. Right. What is she doing? <laughs> She's great and beautiful, and la, she looks. La, la, la. I'm amazing. Right. Birds are and she twirling sings around. The, bird. the birds sing back. And, and for some reason, the witch hates her just because she's rad. Because she's I'm beautiful. an old uh, shitty witch. Uh, <laughs> fuck you, you dumb bitch. Yep. I, I, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, this is mine. This is not yours. <laughs> this is, I have the right of way. Uh, all right. So how do we get from her to the dwarves? Uh, does she I think, eat? I, I think does she, she get, eat the apple and the dwarves rescue her? Mm. I think. Th do, do you know, Brett? I think that. Why it, do you keep going to him? Because we're trying I, to stay here. Okay. All right. Look. Uh, <laughs> she gets lost in the woods, and then okay. and then she gets hungry, and she eats a cursed apple. And I guess I guess the witch was like, like watching. A shitty witch plan. The, the witch was like uh, going through uh, creepy live stream cams, and 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 was just true. like, uh, well, there's That's a true. dipshit. There's another dipshit. Ooh, there's a hot dipshit. I hate hot dip. I, I'm beautiful. Hey, mirror. Am I as hot as this dipshit? And the mirror goes. Oh, I forgot the mirror. Yeah. Right? And she's like, anyway, poisonous apple. Who's the fairest of them all? And so she that's how we instigate the conflict with right. Snow White. She sees uh, Snow White lost in the woods and yeah. is like, so anyway. Uh, I'm going to curse I, this apple. I, I'm a cool old lady. Uh, you're a hot oh, young girl. Oh, shit. Yeah, she's like, like, like have an oh, apple. Have an uh, apple. Ladies got to stick together. Yeah, that's right. It's uh, You got a car blowed, lady. Get them I didn't pecs realize in that shape. Snow White was such a sleeper agent for sowing resentment between women. Oh, yep. I, well, and she does go to sleep. I don't know why she wakes up, but but suddenly. Because there's a <laughs> prince the who's time. quite char charming. And he doesn't understand what consent is. Sounds like lazy writing. Yeah. Wait, that ain't Sleeping Beauty? I think yeah, that's, that's Sleeping the end. Beauty. Yeah, that's the end. That's not Sleeping Beauty. That's Snow Snow White. <laughs> Sleeping There's Beauty. There's another kiss. Dude, they when they got a formula that works, yeah. it's like a sleepy girl who can't give consent yes. is like core to the Disney canon in the mid-20th century. Yep. Yeah. Right? Yep. And if you're not a nubile, sleeping, beautiful woman who can't give consent nobody then you gives a shit. better be an oh. old nasty crone that yes nobody in between mm. or a dirty old stepsister so there is yeah, one yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like some, some if, buck teeth if you're a hater. man you better be old with a pop belly or young with some pecs no in between nope well, you could be the dwarves all seven of them uh and yeah, there's seven in between actually they're all old with pop bellies Ooh, get dunked <laughs> bam, 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 bam. Get dunked old dwarves. Oh, it's weird. That's my specialty. I'm donkey. <laughs> donkey. Yes, she, yes, she, dump, yes, dopey, yes, dopey yes, dopey yes, yes. She falls off. Yes, she right, falls off. See. God damn it! All that for Jesus. Uh, Brian, what about you? Does the evil queen fall to her demise? Uh, no. She falls in love with the internet. All right, you're gonna say no, Brett. What about you? Does the evil queen fall to her demise? Well, this is the the beginning of the whole things, and and honestly, I cannot remember this part, so I'm gonna say yes. I think the entire premise of the game is banking on such things. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. All right, we've got a yes from Justin and Brett, a no from Brian. Yep. We were looking for. She did. Hey. That's a point for Justin and Brett. Very quickly, you only have five seconds to guess, Justin. What was it? 
What, what were the circumstances of her fault? Oh, an extra I think, point. I think she was trying to do something fucked up, like kill Snow White, and then she fell off a rock. Fell off of a rock. Yeah, All right. I think, I think, yeah, it's still very agrarian, this this stage. I think there was a rock she fell off of. Brad, what do you think? Uh, uh, she was at, on a tall cliff in her castle, and uh, she, uh, she's fighting with the mirror. And, uh, mm. and the mirror is like, fuck you. And then she falls off. Uh, you know, I, I can't speak one way or the other, but I do know it sounded like. Oh. Yeah. Michael Winslow, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> our, with our with our, our pro, with our audio stuff, you've heard some of that. Um, <laughs> all right. We've got our answers here. Justin said she fell off a rock. <laughs> Brett said she fell off of a cliff. <laughs> we are going to give that point. <laughs> Oh, uh, ooh, we're going to give that point to Brett on this one. Hey! She fell off of a cliff, was crushed by a boulder, and then presumed to be eaten by two vultures. Wait a minute. Jesus I'm the one Christ. who said a rock. But she, he said a cliff. No, he said a castle. What no, he said no a with the cliff. The cliff. God damn it. Yeah. Yeah. That's a point for Justin, two I'll points for Brett. Stop the steal. Stop the steal. <laughs> <laughs> Call cyber ninjas. All right, we're going to go to this next one here. Brian, we're going to start with you on this. Yes. The Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland. Did she fall to her death or demise? Oh, uh, no, I, 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 I know we got a lot of these, so uh, I'm going to say no. You, no. Right, what do you remember about the Queen of Hearts in Alice she in Wonderland? She kept saying off with her head, yep. off with her head. Uh, but ultimately, look, she's a card. She's kind of a side character, right? Yeah, no, but seriously, like picture... Lifting up in a loving embrace, the Queen of Hearts. Yeah. This giant playing card. Yeah. And walking to a cliff's edge and pushing her off. What does she do? She hang glides off into the. Yeah. So it can't be right. So no. Okay. Did she have a human body? Uh, all of her underlings. I think she was definitely heart. an anthropomorphic Queen of Hearts. Yeah. Okay. Nah. So Brian's gonna say no. Oh wait, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, in fact, everything I said was wrong. A very happy unbirthday to you. <laughs> <laughs> Brett, we're going to go to you now. The Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland. Did she fall to her demise? Uh, in the, in the, uh, the cartoon. Oh, Jesus. We're going off the cartoon. <laughs> There's we're the right. live one with Johnny. We're yeah. looking no, for the cartoon. No, 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 just no, 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 no. the, the old cartoon. cartoon. Yeah. But I, classic I remember cartoon. Save correct. it for the Wikipedia, oh, nerd. Yeah. Well, <laughs> actually... Uh, I'm going to say that, no, she did not fall to her death. You're going to say no? All right. Justin. You don't think somebody Ricky Jade her off a cliff? <laughs> 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 Grabs her by a toe, uh, flings her human body. <laughs> 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 Worth it. Justin, you're the last one here. The Queen of Farts. The Queen of Farts from Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> Queen of Farts. Get wrecked, bitch. Um, Get wrecked. Oh? No, I don't think she fell. I, I think she was a a well, 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 well. Actually, no. Hold on. She did fall, and I think she fell because she was trying to stop going like the up steel. a hill, and all the people that were chasing behind her. It was like like a comical like she did like a blank, Homer blank, Simpson blank, 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 blank. Yeah, and then she falls off. Yeah, I think she falls. Hmm. Oh, okay. There we go. I'm gonna say yes. We got a no from Brian and Brett. We got a yes from Justin. We were looking for the fact that the Queen of Hearts. Did not fall to her death. That's the point for Brian and Brett. Very quickly, Bri uh, Brian, we'll start with you. How, okay, ready. Did she, how did she go for a bonus point? Oh, yeah. No, uh, she did not uh, because she got distracted by a handsome man. Okay, she got distracted by One a handsome man. One might say she was mated. What? No, that's chess. That's chess. You're... Or you're Thinking chess. The Queen's Gambit. There's a chess board there. I'm oh. almost certain. Okay. Yeah, I'll take that. Uh Brett. No, we're stopping the show. Is there a chess board? <laughs> there? Gotcha. Is there a chess board there? No, go ahead. Yeah. Brett, what about you? How did the Queen of Hearts meet her untimely or her timely demise? Even? I seem to remember yeah. uh that her soldiers who were the deck of cards did something like attacked her or took her away or did something like that. Okay, so she kind of got she got overthrown. She got beat she up. Got, she, yeah, she got she oh, got murked. deposed. That that she does sound murked. vaguely familiar. Like they lifted her up and like took rode her out of town on a rail or whatever that Something is. Like yeah. That. Yeah. Okay. There we go. We've the got crowd a crowd surfed her out. <laughs> <laughs> so Brian said that she got distracted. 
and Brett said the soldiers uh, overtook her. Uh, kind of a kind of an overthrowing sort of situation. Uh, the uh, reality is that I don't get a guess. We're wrong. Do you want to guess? It won't Fuck be for you. a point. Whatever. <laughs> <Go>. <laughs> I was doing a thing. That's fine. No. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, she actually was imaginary the entire time, so she just ceased to exist at the oh. end of the movie. She didn't die. Oh wow. Yeah. Checkmate. Uh, I'm gonna give that to a to Brian because I don't remember everything he said, but I think yep. it's more correct than soldiers. <laughs> that's, so. that's fair. It was imaginary. That's fair. And Here we are. That's there fair. We go. All right. Imaginary, uh, just like Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Brett, what that's supposed to mean. I don't know. <laughs> Are you saying that Brian is a hologram? That's what I'm saying. Okay, well, True. Uh, well, let's see if uh, you, Brett, can take it on our first one here. I will try. Maleficent from Sleeping Beauty. Yes. Did she fall to her demise? I remember how she died. Describe yeah, the difference between fall. a spindle and a loom. She did fall. She did fall. You say yes. Yep. Okay. Ooh. Dustin, we're going to you now. I think she did fall. I think I think she uh, uh, said, uh, uh, "This world isn't dope enough for me," <laughs> <laughs> and then did a full double somersault off of a off of a cliff uh, uh, and said, "Fuck you! Yeah. I'm coming back as Angelina Jolie." Yep. And then, yeah, uh, mm. and it's uh, for for two plots as similar with the bad bad persons that uh, they get confused. I have to believe there's no way both of them fell off a cliff. So I, so I'm gonna. Uh, break from the pattern and say no I, I think she was consumed in flames or like like the bad dragon turned against her i think or something Just keep going the keep bad that one got some, sure. the bad dragon sure right oh. I think the bad dragon she's riding turned on against the dragon her. and it torched the whole yeah thing. it's uh, mm. uh I'm, I'm gonna stick to it i'm gonna stick to it i think there was a bad dragon hey kids much like velma well, we let's we not google bad dragon when, when the bad <laughs> When when so when, so when, when, when the bad dragon yes. that's right well, met the good dragon titties. and and the good dragon was like, hey <laughs> hey bad dragon you better get off this bad path man oh. all the dragons are talking about Listen, it. I've been talking to my parole officer and he said we shouldn't hang out. Uh, Wait no I'm the good dragon. <laughs> I know and you're trying to lead me down a bad path and I'm not gonna do dragon things you're anymore. We're, we're, bad both, we're both we're both we're both dragons and I know that you're dealing <laughs> balloon heroin. So you better knock it we, off. We, we can't talk Mom, about that. Mom I'm, is mom's very worried right, about listen, you. Dragon to dragon. Yeah. Can one of us be Bernie Sanders? <laughs> <laughs> I, for one, think <laughs> things are about to heat up. Oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go eat this broad Maleficence. <laughs> okay. And scene. Yeah. Scene. All right. We've got your answers here. We got, we got <laughs> one clap. We've got uh, for Maleficent, Justin and Brett both say yes. Brian has said no. Brian, your answer of no is... Incorrect. She does. For an extra point, Justin, we'll start with you. How did she fall? Hint down. Doing a split off the Lenovo booth. <laughs> <laughs> Too soon. Oh, Too soon. Oh, I'm sorry. That's fucked up. Wow. Fucked up. Sorry. Who laughed at that? Maleficent had to get a spot, a pin put in her neck. Okay. Too oh. soon. No, it's fucked up. I I apologize. Uh, Brett. Do you have a do you have a more tasteful answer for us? Yes, As a matter of fact, I do. Okay, he, what uh, I turned into a dragon and then was attacked by the Prince Charming, who then spears her and she dies and just off the So there was a bad dragon. Yep. She was a uh, bad dragon. You no, know, she turned into the bad dragon. She uh, was an anamorph. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna log this as mostly right. In, 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 in the fact checker, uh, just in the old, the old, the old head cannon. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. Mostly nailed it. Mostly. Mostly. Justin said mostly. that uh, they mostly nail it at night. night. <laughs> mostly. <laughs> yeah. So Justin gave us a pretty nasty answer, and Brett gave us that she yeah, turned into uh, a yeah, dragon. Scrub that. Cut that from the podcast. We'll so just cut that. Remember that. <laughs> Brett, your answer is. <laughs> Exactly correct. She turns uh, into a dragon, gets stabbed, and falls off a cliff. Yep. Though we only we we only see her cloak at the end with the sword still in it, but the body's gone. Yeah. Ooh, then she becomes. Happen? Are you saying somewhere out there is a naked Maleficent? There's a naked bad dragon out there. Yeah. 
But we find out later she was just misunderstood. That's all. Oh, is that, is that the plot of okay. yeah. yeah. Oh, that's right. They did do that Maleficent yeah. movie. But that's not Sleeping Beauty. Two of them, right? Twice. Yeah. yeah. Twice. I like and the second one. And they made those Huntsman movies, but how, those, that's not like. How did they do a no, second a one of those too, yeah. after, like, uh, is is it about her uh, 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 podcast career after getting ruined? Or? You need to watch it. Go watch it. And yeah, I we'll think I think they, they invented a whole other side story of, like, other fucking yeah. shit. The Dead Speak. Bill O'Reilly has a podcast. Okay. And now I'm, okay, I, I need to. I was looking up the story to Maleficent too. Okay. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> what is it? it it's like it's, Cruella. It's long. I mean, it's a movie. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, because that's the thing is like uh, Disney over the last 20 years has just made a cottage industry of uh, inventing the trauma for which caused the villains yep. to be mean to yep. your heroes. Right. And so it's like, it's like, I don't know, like whatever with in Maleficent, it was like, the tree spirit or some bullshit. Like, that was I like, just hate people who are awake because an yeah. awake person was mean to me once. Yeah. Yep. Th- yeah. Why exactly. can't everyone just like, like, sleep? I am a wood nymph and I never go to sleep. <laughs> Fuck you, Maleficent. <laughs> You're fat. Like, and then, <laughs> <laughs> and then she's like, like, I'll make everyone go to sleep. I grew up being bullied by this dickhead. And then awake he, people. Am I right? And then he comes back in the sequel and he's the big bad. Okay. Okay. Uh, there is a thing about fairies in the movie, so there we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mostly right. Hey, Mostly you percent. fat ass bitch. I'm the always awake wood nymph. Oh, no. Please go to sleep. <laughs> That's how I stay so I never, skinny. I never sleep hating on you, you heifer. <laughs> oh, no. Please. I don't know, man. It's fucking Disney. Don't come to me. Okay, I won't. Uh, <laughs> After three rounds, let's take a look at the points here. Justin's got two points. Brian's got two points. Brett's got one, two, three, four, five points. Oh, oh I'm going to have a horrible turn, and I'm going to lose the whole thing. Gonna, Whatever. You look weird with five erections. We're going to start with jo- Justin on this one. Just just like in a belt. Dick's got a dick. <laughs> Don't Google that one either, kids. Uh, Justin. <laughs> Civilized people only have two dicks coming out of the side right. of their... Belt loops. Don't Google that one either, kids. <laughs> Justin. Just ask yes. Vilma. Jafar from Aladdin. Jafar from Aladdin. Uh, no. You're going to say no. I know this one. Yeah. Jafar oh. does not. He does not fall off a cliff at all. Okay. Nope. Zero chance. Look at, look at this Lock guy. it in. <laughs> I, <laughs> look at, look at this. Look at this. You're so confident. <laughs> no. <laughs> and not. Uh, Chance, my man. Not a chance. Put it down in <laughs> pen. No. And oh. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> uh, yeah. I- <laughs> God damn it. This is the worst show in the world. That was the best. <laughs> uh, no. Yeah, Ju- Justin is right, and I know why. Wink, eyebrow oh. raise. That's oh. a sorry. No, <laughs> we know. I just didn't know what you were expecting. <laughs> no. Okay, Brett. What about you? What about Jafar from the Aladdin film? So both of you fellas think that he actually did not fall, right? That's correct. Both of you. I mean, he fell from grace. He was once the vizier. So, and you're really secure. Oh, that. we're yep. secure. You yep. can tell we're secure. Yep. Okay. We're so secure. Yep. All right. You want to see how I'm secure? I'm going to just have to say no, that he did not He did fall. Wait. Wait. So you're saying yes, he did fall. I'm, yes, I'm saying no, he did fall. God damn it, Brett. Yeah, yes. Did he fall or not? So yes. You're saying yes, <laughs> he, he fell. He, okay. No, yeah. he fell. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, 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 Brett. Hey, hey Brett. Uh, do you, have you ever seen the film When Harry Met Sally? You know I did. You know how that was a movie about two people hurtling through space? <laughs> that was the main thing about that movie is That's that the exactly. two characters were hurtling through space. Yes. Yeah. Because that's what, and, how and, dumb and, you sound right now. Wait, what? <laughs> oh my God. Whoa. And, and you were in it and you said, I'll have what she's having. That's what you That's did. true, because she was eating the space food and no, you were outside. You, na- you right, knocked no, no, no. on the Apollo let's, window let's and go. you mouthed it and it was in subtitles because there's no air in space. I remember that. Yep. 
let, well, then let what are you subtitling? Let's all reveal. Let's all reveal that what we, happened. What that, happened? That what happens in Aladdin is he gets tricked into going into the lamp. He becomes the genie. He becomes a genie, and he gets infinite power into the lamp. Itty bitty living space. And then what? The, what and then you were fell. saying is that like the the the, the lamp then goes oh, into the wait a minute. Wonders. Yep. Hold on. People yeah, are saying he fell dumb. into a lamp. People are saying he fell into a lamp, Justin. No, he gets sucked into a lamp. I don't know. Let's go to science. All right. Uh, well, we've got your answers here. All three of you said no, and the answer we were looking for was... He did it! No! Oh. Oh. He did not fall to his death. Brian and Justin, you got a point on that one. Oh, he's still yep. clapping. Uh, for a bonus point, Brian and Justin, how did Jafar ultimately die? Uh... Now, I know oh, you no, haven't no, heard he this. Does it. I think he comes back, doesn't he? No, uh, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, sequels don't count. That's not canon. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we all agree he didn't die at the end of Aladdin 1, but he didn't make it out of Jafar Returns. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But how no, does, does he fall? One, does he fall? The second one, I don't... I think, I think Jafar... I don't know if Jafar Returns is the first direct-to-video sequel or if it's the second... It was Aladdin Returns was the first. The first one was yeah. Aladdin Returns? Yeah, because they, they had somebody who was not Robin Williams doing Aladdin. Yeah, that was Dan Castellaneta. Dan Castellaneta. yeah. Oh, really? Aladdin yeah, 2, The Return of Jafar, 1994, yeah. direct video right. sequel. There we go, yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah, how does he die ultimately? Yeah. Old well, age. I think, I think, yeah, he... Uh, Pancreatic uh, uh, cancer. Yeah, finally, finally... <laughs> uh, <laughs> Surrounded by his family at Balmoral, <laughs> <laughs> holding hands by his beloved Jafar children. Yeah. And he says, cancer. please, right. <laughs> let the people of that land I used to live in know that I regret everything. <laughs> yep. Choked on the parrot. Am I right? He choked on the parrot. So you both are collectively saying it was cancer. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Mostly, it was an avoidable case of cancer. <laughs> it was... Uh, <laughs> If he had only gotten, if he had only gotten his regular annual checkups, yep. he would not have been in that situation. Yep. You're supposed to check every year. Yeah. Shit. I've only been checking every decade. Bryce, no. I know. Anyway, uh, your answer of can your combined answer of cancer. I'm gonna say is <laughs> for the Voltron of cancer. <laughs> I'm gonna say nah. That's not close enough. Uh, uh, he uh, he did get trapped in a lamp, and then the lamp was kicked into co into lava at the end of J the Return of Jafar. So, so does that count as a wait, fall? Wait, this motherfucker oh. gets tricked back into the lamp. Uh, what a dummy! I, be I believe that's the case. Yeah. <laughs> and, and as it sinks into the lava, you see a thumb come up. And sh <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> no, you see you see a middle finger like yeah. Brian in the fucking intersection. <laughs> He's like, "This is mine." Put back is Angelina Jolie. <laughs> All right, it's time for our last round here. Let's take a look at the scores. Before we do that, Justin's got three points. Brian's got three points. Brett has got one, two, three, four, five points. Mm -hmm. Of course, this is our six-point round, so it's anybody's game. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, Brett, because you're in the lead, we're going to start with you. Start, uh, Wait, is that right? Start no. with me. Yeah, we're going to start with you. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to give you this one here. Ah, yes. I see. We're going to do this one. <laughs> And that's that's all right. <laughs> that's that's uh that's how they do it at the Olympics. All yeah. right, we're oh, all gonna everybody yeah, gather yeah, up. Yeah, we're yeah, gonna we'll, do we'll the do running game. We'll do this. Everybody one. start. Oh, oh wait, just hold just on. Don't put up I see. Up on the we're gonna start there. right here. Okay. All right. Down. All right, Brett. We are looking for. Oop. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm gonna Fuck pick another. Me, I running. don't know that character. Fuck me. <laughs> Bryce just showed the answer on the screen. Thankfully, I didn't show the, show the character, so now I'm going to change it. <laughs> yeah. Ah, there we go. Who who was it not? It was uh not Hunter Hunter Dogs from Bambi. They got crushed by boulders. Oh. Uh, oh. That would have been a hard one. Dog Hunter from dogs. Bambi. Ding. I love that band. Number one answer. All right. Dude, Hunter Dogs is a fucking really good band name. Yeah. Yeah, it is. All right, Brett. We've got the real one for you here. Okay. We're looking for Flotsam and Jetsam from The Little Mermaid. These are... Uh, uh, <laughs> they fall to their death. These are uh, Ursula's uh, eel companions. Yeah. Flotsam and Jetsam. Think that they Flotsam, Jetsam, now we got them, boys. The boss is on a roll. 
Now, we do know you can fall off a cliff underwater because I watched the documentary Aquaman. Yep. Uh, that, that opened something in, brain, in, in, in Brett's mind palace. <laughs> Uh, His mind yeah, they don't. I don't think they <laughs> fall. It, 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 it I opened think they the crawl space down to the deeps. They get dragged down. So you're saying no? Yes. Uh, then, Ooh, no. that mm. does yes, sound right. Sounds fall. They don't fall. I said sounds they don't fall. But they get dragged down. Right. Yeah, I, I'm gonna agree with him, but I'm gonna say that's technically falling. Uh, <laughs> so uh, is that a, wait, no, is that a yes or a no? Yes, yes, they fall. Okay, you're gonna say yes. Okay. Yeah, they're falling. I'm gonna say no. Uh, it's not falling. That's that's like that's a, a world. Keys. That's a whirlpool. That's a wor wait. Am I agreeing with Brett? Yeah, yeah. No, I have to. I have to game theory this. Whatever yeah. Brett says is wrong. That's yeah. the only way I win. Okay, okay. There we go. Uh, so then Brian's gonna change his answer to yes. All right, we've got a winner here. I'm going to drop. Mm, I'm gonna drop Brett's answer into our answer hole, our patented answer uh -oh. hole here. Uh oh. What it is? I need a win, guys. Whoa! Oh! Oh! It's rigged. Yeah. The whole system's rigged. Somebody paid off the judges. There was a perfect balance of umami, salt, and sugar in that dish. No, uh, uh, Flat Flotsam and Jetsam, who were actually, uh, as noted in one of the Wikipedias that I had to look this up in, uh, noted, uh, very effective hench people. Uh, they accidentally got shot by <laughs> Ursula and died. <laughs> Sh uh, sorry, <laughs> shot, shot, shot? Shot by their boss. Like, uh, uh, lightning bolt, but yeah, she, and then they died. <laughs> and they, they did. She, she missed, she missed, uh, and so they died. So that means our winner is Brett! I will, I will cherish this award for as long as I can remember. Not an award, but that's fine. Uh, well, you got how idea about, oh yeah, sorry, uh, do you have credit to give? Uh, yeah, thank you again to TSC and Sam who gave us uh, the idea for this. If you've got an idea for a game, please send it into our email address, greatnightpod at gmail.com, or check the show notes wherever you're enjoying this program. Uh, Brett, what have we learned tonight? We have learned that uh, uh, from... from, uh, <laughs> from oh, oh, God, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Well, let me. We've learned that to believably be play a character, Brian always needs to say, It's me! And then, oh, that's nice. Uh, we've learned. We've learned. Yeah, oh, God. We've learned that this. Suddenly, my childhood is coming right back to me. My. I, I actually kind of miss my brothers and sisters right now. Uh, no, there you go. Thank you. Uh, okay. Oh, oh my God. And, we, I, and I've learned that uh, that uh, that's a very effective tool. I'll, I'll tell you that. It's a very effective tool. And that's what I've got. Hot diggity dog, despite the fact that uh, we both lost, I thought it was still a great night. Shine on. You crazy. Diamonds. Enjoy your balloon heroin. Hail the Illuminati. Me alive. Somebody give you Bernie Sanders a cooking show, for Christ's sake. Me survive. We are cooking up economics Nothing and racial justice. Pause the masturbation night. Uh, let's get drunk and laugh tonight. There's never been a greater, greater night. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>